Hi everybody, I'm Martin from Dyking Island and today I'm going to talk you through setting up a SB3 port valve, uh, some do's and don'ts and this is supplied with our hot water kit if you're installing a wall mounted hydro box with a separate cylinder. This comes part of a kit and it's quite important how it's piped up and how it's set up and commissioned correctly. So, when you unpack this valve, there's three parts, there's the head, the valve body and in a little plastic bag comes this screw and this linkage. Very important that you don't lose this, uh, the valve won't work without it. So we we'll just put them aside, we'll just talk through the valve. So the valve itself is a three port valve and what this does it diverts the heat from the heat pump to either heat the cylinder or the heating system. Um, the machine doesn't do both heating and hot water at the same time, it's hot water priority. Um, this valve, uh, there are instructions comes with it and you'll see here there's a triangle just in there, a circle and a square. And in the instructions it tells you which pipe to connect and that's how the valve is initially configured. Which is okay, however, your orientation of pipe work um, may not suit the, the standard and you may have to pipe it up slightly different. So the golden rules, we never put the floor pipe into the branch. It can go into either end and the other two ports can be hot water and heating any way around, doesn't really matter. And it's basically it's 50-50 if this is set correctly for how you pipe this valve up. Um, as I said we get this linkage. Now this linkage is basically a nut and in one of the nuts is a groove that runs the whole length of it which I've highlighted in green. And this linkage can only fit onto the valve body one way. As you see I'm struggling there. If I turn it over, turn it and eventually it sits in. And as we can see there's the green marker and what it replicates is where the shoe of the valve is. So as we can see inside the valve there it's, it's the blanks there. If I turn that 90 degrees you can see the, the shoe opening up and um, we can see right through the valve. Turn it back again, we're, we're blanking it. So the groove tells us what position the shoe's in. So I'll leave it set up like that. The valve head, um, basically it comes uh, with the knob pushed in, we can't turn it. If I pull it out slightly so we can see this red ring around it, I can then manually turn it. Puts it into a clutch position for if you want to purge air out of the different circuits, that type of thing. So, that's in there. We don't know what position this is in, but on the Daikin controller we can go into information and actuators and we can see the three-way valve and it will tell us whether it's in a space heating position or a hot water position. So tank or space heating, on or off on some models, on being hot water. So when it's energised it moves to a hot water position. So I will just energise this and what the valve will do straight away it will move to a hot water position. As you can see it's, it's turning slowly. So just while that's turning, we'll just go back to the valve here. And for this purpose, what we'll say today is that our floor pipe is going to come in here. This is going to be our connection to the cylinder. And this will be the connection to the heating system. So, flowing, cylinder, heating. And as we can see on the valve head, it's turning to the right. So, in effect... This groove now is turning to the right, which we want to be our heating pipe. Sorry, it's turning to the left. Yeah, turning to the left, so the groove's going to be at the top, we're coming in here. And all we're doing is turning 90 degrees between one port to the other. So in this setup, as we see it, this is now in a hot water position, but the valve is blanking our hot water port, so it's incorrect we're going to get heating 
as this if this was mounted onto this now we get heating when it was in hot water and we get hot water when it was in heating so what we can do is this is a three wire valve there's a permanent live a neutral and a switch live what we don't do is go swapping wires so I'll just kill the power to this and I'll show you how we can get it to turn the, the opposite way for us so if we pull off the head the knob and in the side just above the cable is a torque screw in this version we undo that remove the lid and we'll just take that out because that tends to go flying and we're looking at inside the valve here just where I'm pointing are two jumper tags connected onto this circuit board so in effect you have four pins with two jumper tags and one jumper tag is connecting two pins together and the other one's connecting the other two so what we do to get this valve to rotate the opposite direction is we pull off the two jumper tags there they are and we turn them 90 degrees and push them back on just like fiddling and I don't know if you can see just on the inside in here there's a little picture of how you can do it so I've just pulled the tags off I've turned them 90 